there are two exciting enhanced studies. Again, the enhanced two trial is, is only for P53 mutant patients. It is actually for all ages, which I think really represents that independent of age, this is a group of patients that has poor outcomes. There, there's also an intensive chemotherapy arm with seven plus three. So patients, again, it's open label, would get randomized either to azomagro or one of those two control arms. Um, enhanced three is a placebo blind double, uh, is a placebo controlled double blind study, which is basically triplet of azobenetoclax megrolimab versus azobenetoclax. This is really in the prototypic Viali elderly population, so patients over the age of 75 or younger with specific comorbidities, that, you know, looking for, you know, sort of broad label, um, sort of what's our new backbone of therapy for these patients. It will definitely include P53 mutant patients. I would actually guesstimate that somewhere around 20% uh, of that trial will also be P53 mutant. And then the question is, you know, which one of these is better? Um, I think that's going to be challenging. Obviously, you can't necessarily do cross-trial comparisons. We're really looking for new any new approval for this P53 mutant group. But we're also separately running, at least in the US, a, a, a trial under MiloMatch, um, uh, which will be uh, led by uh, Rory Shalas, Amir Zidon, and myself, which is going to look at Aza venetoclax megrolimab versus Aza venin. And that will also be OS only for P53. So over time, we may be able to compare this triplet or doublet. If you ask me today, I'm actually somewhat more excited by doublet data. The survival seems similar to the triplet and the toxicity is probably better.